Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Arnavi Mitra and I am working in a fan company as a SD. So as you have already watched the thumbnail, the video is going to be the which language you need to choose because there are just three popular languages Java, C++ and Python and there are a lot of questions around there. So as you know, I am there in TalkMed and pre-place where I am talking with uh, many freshers, many students and also those who want to switch their uh, branch and come to the IT jobs. So all those people who I have mentored, I have got one very common question like which language to choose because there is this option C, uh, C++, Python, Java both uh, can be used. What the actual use of it? So I have decided let's make a video and in this video I won't like be biased for one language and I won't share whatever I choose but I will be very much situation oriented. So if you are a student what should you uh, do if you are preparing for replacement what should be your choice and suppose you, you if you want to switch your career domain if you want to come to the IT domain then what will be your choice each and everything I will be covered in this video. Before starting or explaining, I would like to start with the history, like how this language actually evolved. So mother of all language is C. So we all who are from computer science background, we know that we always start our journey with the C language. So C was invented first, but C do not have this oops concept, the object oriented programming. And that is why this is not a very relevant for uh, uh, real world. So this C++ came into the picture and Java came a later part of C++ and Python is very recent in that time. Now I have observed one very common pattern. Whoever are the working professionals and they do not, uh, they do not know the uh, any language that much properly, they just uh, know the C or something, they are very much interested to go for the Python because in the Python this is very easy to learn here there is no concept of what is the uh, variable types and uh, you can easily uh, declare you can easily say uh, a equal 10 a or uh, a equal a string you don't need to uh, the, uh, like it's not that uh, you need to understand how things are deal with how the structures are deal with you don't need to know you can do that very easily so whoever are the working professional they do not have time they are go to the python now i have seen that students are currently motivated towards the python who are not from the it branch because it's very easy to learn but other than that mostly students prefer java or c and if i uh, differentiate like if uh, these three languages are there like uh, what are the easiest way and what is the hard so obviously i will say that python is a very easy thing to learn java i will keep middle and c++ is something difficult because it has the pointer memory management concept and that is why most of the people i have seen that choosing java because it has all the things covered and it's not the pointer or the memory management this difficult concept is not there so people are moving to the java now my suggestion so before go to my suggestion my uh, my uh, like thing um, what i want to say is like how languages are used and if you know the language what are the domain you can work so c++ c++ is very fast so whoever are in competitive programming they will always go for the c++ because they are very fast so if any of you are interested in cp my suggestion will be go for the c++ so generally c++ is used for high latency application like stock market or any that kind of application which is working in the real time now coming towards the java the main motive to learn java is that there are very uh, uh, popular frameworks called JDBC or uh, this uh, spring those things are based on java so if you are interested in development not development particularly but as well as like uh, packet development android development then you have the scope to use java it's not that if you know java you can do all these things you need to learn these things but 
those frameworks are based on java so if you are interested in android development or backend and uh, most of the companies at backend use actually java so if you are adding java in your cv the chance of getting selected in uh, your cv is higher because there are a lot of jobs where the main or the primary condition is uh, the candidate must know java so this is the uh, very popular that is why and then coming back to the python we all know that ai ml iot for all those reasons the python is the uh, actual uh, tool now if you want to learn or if i come to a student perspective so most of the cases my suggestion will be either start with c++ or java so if you already know any one of this language do not uh, switch because when you are joining a company and you need to learn their code base and do uh, maximum cases you need to learn a new language and even if you know c++ moving to java is not that much difficult if you know java moving to c++ is not that much difficult and if you know this two particular language then uh, it's uh, not difficult to learn any language because you know the basic concept what is the variable what are the loops what is the function all these basics you know so it's uh, if you know this then learning javascript ruby this kind of language learning won't take much time because when you are at professional environment the people like it's not expected from you that you are taking a uh, lot of time in learning their new language and uh, understand their code base you will get very less time so if your plan is to go to a development role and if you know any of this language java or c++ then stay with it complete the dsa uh, go for the interview and once you are placed you can learn any of the language very easily if you are uh, currently new and you need to think you can start with java like my priority for new students or the freshers who want to learn is like java at top then c++ and then python and if you already know java c++ any of them just stick to it now for the working professional i won't say that you just spend time a lot of in this you can go with python but uh, still i would suggest like python is basically for ai ml so if your target is this kind of thing the like data engineer data scientist then obviously we don't need that java c++ i would suggest like python will be at top then uh, java and then c++ but uh, if you want to switch to a it career then my suggestion will be to go with java learn the java because once you learn a language and a language like java or c++ it's going to stay with you for all the time even though you are preparing for placement or if you want to switch your career or if you are a student so my suggestion will be always java and c++ at top and python at the second place unless you are planning is going to the data engineering or data scientist because there are many students who are interested in research oriented project those who are working on iot ml project and they are obviously prioritizing python and it has valid reason because python has this kind of frameworks which only can be used so that is also completely fine so you can think first your whole i either it's a data scientist data engineering iit ml oriented thing or it's a development or may uh, uh, full stack developer role this kind of thing you want to choose and if you are preparing for your placement basic uh, thing uh, only basic dsa you need to cover then any language is fine but still my preference will be java and c++ at top and then python so this was like very basic video i have explained uh, what are the uses where these are used and what are the thing you need to uh, follow so i hope it will clear all your doubt and uh, if you uh, know want to know how to start with dsa i have a dedicated video on that you can check 
like how to start where to start what are the things to follow each and everything you can uh, get there, there and if you want uh, me to mentor you you can have the one is one call all my session you can connect you can also connect with me on linkedin uh, telegram all the links are given uh, to the description thank you